Hi, welcome. In our previous video, we installed Squid Proxy Server as well as the required packages needed for authentication. In this video, we will be discussing uh, editing the configuration files for and set up basic authentication. So let's go ahead and start. First thing we're going to do is stop the Squid Proxy Server. We'll enter this command sudo etc init.d forward slash squid and stop. Hit enter. You should see that it's stopping our squid proxy server. Our squid proxy server has stopped. Next thing we want to do is make a copy of our configuration file. It is safe practice that we do this just in case um, don't things don't um, fan out as the way we want them to. It's good practice to always make your um, backup of your configuration files in Linux. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's enter this command. And as you can see here, I made the uh, backup in the same directory. I just renamed it a different name with this command. So you can see here it's on the same directory, etc squid, squid.conf, and I copied it to etc squid, uh, squid backup.conf. I just renamed the file. And you can go ahead and verify that everything went well with this command. Type it in ls forward slash etc squid forward slash. As you can see there, I got my squid configuration, my original, and I got the squid backup right here, which we just made. So let's go ahead and e edit our squid configuration file. Let's en enter this command. sudo space get it forward slash etc squid forward slash squid dot conf or conf. That will open our text editor. As you can see here, this text file and configuration file is a lot, lot of information. This is up to oh, up to almost 5,000 lines of code. This is a very big file and a lot of configuration. So there's a lot you can do with uh, with Squid. But today we're just going to be going over our basic basic configuration. So let's go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is delete all this. It's one of the reasons I created a backup earlier and go ahead and copy and paste here and this is the pre um, the configurations I had made before and I did this in order to save time because there's limited amount of time we have in in YouTube YouTube only allows 10, 10 minutes and let's go over this uh, configuration files let me explain what's going on with this configuration so you can hear this is our options for authentication first option we put in is basic NCSA proxy authentication and program specified so this is where our proxy authentication is located in squid and this is the program we will specify um, where that has our usernames and password for authenticating with our squid proxy server next line is the number of authentic processes to spawn and here it is under our line here which we defined five five to uh, processes. If you have a sl slow network, I recommend that you increase this number. Next line, we have specifies the realm name which to be reported to the client for the basic proxy authentication scheme. So as you can see here, this uh, line right here will define what will pop up on the prompt when the users try to authenticate with a proxy server this line right here you add your own in other words you can make up what you want to prompt to say to the users when they try to access um, the squid proxy so, okay now let's move on this specifies how long squid assumes an external validated username password pair is valid for so as you can see here this command uh, will dictate how long they are valid for for example if you put one hour two hours that's how long they have to be valid. Next line specifies if usernames are case sensitive. So this command here, as you can see, specifies if they're case sensitive. 
all you have to do here is specify it's either it's on or off and that will do it next line we have HTTP port and host name the HTTP port right here and I'm not too sure but all these uh, commands have an underscore after them the first line so HTTP port is 3128 all workstation or clients that are communicating through port 80 will be redirected to port 3128 which is our proxy uh, server visible host name right here we have configured our visible host name you can feel free to add your own but as for this tutorial I wrote this down um, feel free to write your own access control list requires users to authenticate for access this is a command that we are using uh, that will require our users to authenticate I have put this in caps because they're, um, I'm forcing them to do it to authenticate this one will also enforce that all clients on the network will require to authenticate and this is defined by ACL space all space SRC space all next line squid proxy server IP net mask right here we have our ACL define our local host which is our squid proxy server and it's defined by this uh, IP address in our host file you can configure this to be anything you want if it's a remote machine that you're setting up squid proxy server you can set up that IP as you wish um, you're choosing same with a net mask right here we have defined a net net mask as long uh, as well with our IP address remember that is the net mask next line users who have credentials and have authenticated will have access which means that this is defined by this command HTTP underscore access space allowed space NSC NCSA underscore users and that is uh, what will determine who will have access and have authenticated. Next line is users who do not have credentials will be restricted access and that is defined by this line right here HTTP underscore access space deny space all that will deny all who do not have credentials or access to have to be restricted restricted from accessing the server as you can see here we're gonna save it and I will give you another brief look at the configuration file Let's scroll down once we have saved our document we're gonna go ahead and close this and we're gonna create our password file to have NCSA uh, authentication so let's go ahead and do that sudo ht pass wd space forward slash etc squid passwd and we're going to define our first user as bobby hit enter oh oops there you go i'm sorry i forgot one little syntax there there we go ht password minus c New password. We have added our user. Let's go ahead and restart our proxy server. Let's go ahead and start our proxy server once again with this command in it dot d squid start. Okay, it has started. Let's go to our browser now. We're going to configure our browser to point towards our proxy server. So on Firefox and Linux, we will go to Edit, Preferences, Advanced tab, Network tab, and Settings. We'll go to Manual Proxy Configuration. Here we have our IP address and our port 3128, which is our proxy. We'll hit OK. We'll close it. We will refresh, and now we get this prompt that is asking us to authenticate. 
so it says authentication required the proxy 1.92.168.1.9 on port 3128 is requesting a username and password. The site says login username and password to access portal. Now we don't have credentials we will get this error message and right here it will tell us exactly why. It says sorry you are not currently allowed to request Google from this cache until you have authenticated yourself. So anybody who does not have authentication will not be allowed access here is defining our actual host name you can see it just as we had stated in our configuration file slayer1.linuxstudies.com now let's go ahead and log in with our username and password and there you have it we have accessed our proxy server and we have authenticated ourselves this was just a quick tutorial on setting up Squid, installing Squid, and setting up basic authentication. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.